Hi, Marty Lecklutter, Product Manager, IBM Forms Experience Builder. This short video is designed to give you the information you need to be able to implement service calls in your applications. So here I have a couple of applications. The first one is a course catalog. So if I launch this, I have a way to put in courses. It's a very basic form, course number, course title, date and time. Um, and I also have a course request form. So if I launch this, what I have is the uh, name, email, and I currently have a drop down which I need to work on. And what I'd like to be able to do is pull in the training courses which are in the catalog into this drop down. And once I pick one of those training courses, what I'd like to do is then populate the course number for that particular course in the course date and then continue on with the form. So let's take a look at how we do this. So let's go into the training request form. We'll go ahead and edit this. And when I take a look at the drop down for training course selection, there's an edit button here. And if I click that edit button, it's going to give me a couple of options for my drop downs. I could simply just type in the, the different options right here, but what I want to do is use the service. And I want to add a new service, so I'm going to click on this blue text right here. And the service that I want is that other training application. It is a Forums Experience Builder app. So today we're going to take a look at how do we do service calls between Forms Experience Builder applications. And if you can master this, you essentially take Forms Experience Builder out of the realm of building forms and into database applications. So here is the uh, set of services for the training course catalog. You can see I've got to delete, retrieve, search, submit. What I want to do is a search. And the way that I always remember this is a search returns multiple records. And that's what I want because I want to have multiple options. So any service has got inputs and outputs. In this particular case, I want all the training courses, so I'm not going to put any filters on the input. Now let's go to the searched records, and these, these will be all the records that I get out of that particular application. And what I want to do is get the course title. And then over on my right, I have the fields in my form. And here is the training course selection drop down. And what I want to do is map the title to both the saved value and the displayed value. And the reason that drop downs have two options is they could be different. I could have one item which is displayed in the drop down and another item which is saved. You know, perhaps I want to save a numeric to do some calculations on it at a later point, and I want to display some text for the user to understand. So I'm done with this service call here for the drop down. And I can go ahead and I can preview this. And you can see that this is working. But there's another piece to the puzzle. When I click on the course, I want the course number and course date to be populated here. So how do I do that? Well, let's close the preview. Now let's go back to that same drop-down and let's go over to events. And on events, the one I want to use is on item change. So the idea here is whenever the selection is changed, I'm going to call a service. And let's add another service. So let's go back to the list of Forms Experience Builder services. And let's find the training catalog. And in this case, what I want is a retrieve. A retrieve, the way I remember this, is it returns one record. And a retrieve is almost always going to have some selection criteria. So what I want as the input, now on the left here are the items in my form. I want the training course selected and then I want to map that to the uh, training course title 
And for that particular training course title, what I want to do is get the course number, so you can see it there. And then I want to map that to the course number in my form. And then I want to get the date for that particular course and map it into the course date over here in my form. So we're done with this service call. Uh, so again, it was a search tied to the drop-down options and then a retrieve on the drop-down on item change event. So if we take a look at this, in preview mode, I can pick the course. And we have the course number and the date. And everything is working just fine. So let's get out of preview mode here again. And the last service call that I want to implement here is, uh, since this is an authenticated scenario, when, whenever this particular page or form, I could do this on, on either event, um, let's go ahead and just tie it to the page. Whenever this particular page is shown, what I want to do is call a service. And in this case, the service I want is get portal user information. So since I'm installed, this Feb deployment is installed on top of portal or the WAS that portal is also installed on, I can I can leverage this. And in this particular case, uh, the input is the fact that I am logged on. So what I want to do is just simply get, um, let's get the given name, which is the uh, requester's first name, and then we'll get the uh, surname, which is the last name, and then we'll get the email address and map that into the form. So these are all items which the Puma service stores for me, and these items uh, could be coming directly from your LDAP as well. So we've mapped those into the form fields, and we click OK. And let's save this form. Let's go back to manage and then let's deploy this. And now we can launch this form. So we see that it is pre-populating with my first name, last name, and email address. And I can go ahead and select a course and I can submit this. So there you have it, some simple services added into my form. Pretty easy to do. If you can build a form, you can master services. You master services and you can do amazing things with your FEB applications. Thank you.